and Ellen Chamberlain for her company this morning and playing that beautiful prelude as well. That's Catherine Dimenstein on soprano, Peggy Chamberlain, alto, Bruce Chamberlain on tenor, and Jan J. Lee on bass. Uh, so thank you so much for sharing the gift of your music with us. It is so meaningful. Now I want to share a little time with our children this morning and come down in front of the communion table. And X marks the spot, so I'll find my spot. I'm going to show you a little something this morning. First of all, I know my mom's watching in Charleston today. So I want to say, hi, Mom. How you doing? You can see me. I'm, here I am. All is well. I know all is well with you. I love you. Okay? And I miss you. So I had to tell my mom. Sorry about that. Um, well, I want you to see this. Have you ever seen, have you seen these trucks riding around town? If, if, if you have, I'm sure you have. In fact, I have a feeling that this is kind of a franchise business. I think there's a lot of these trucks in different cities that go around. What does this say? It says, it asks a question, doesn't it? 1-800-GOT-WHAT? Junk. Or, if you want to put it in the form of a question, 1-800-GOT-JUNK? Now, what do you think this business does? What do you think it does? Well, I imagine that if you have junk in your house or around your house or maybe from a building project or maybe from something else, a lot of junk in the world, isn't there, that you could call this number and for a price, they will come and pick up your junk and get rid of it, which is pretty cool, isn't it? In fact, I've used them before. I've used them before because we've got a lot of junk at our house that we have to kind of, you know, get, kind of get rid of. And I'm sure you probably do too. How many of you have, you know, kind of stuff you need to throw away, but you just haven't gotten around to doing it yet? Sometimes it's just as easy to throw it in the garbage, but sometimes it's really hard. And these folks, will, uh, I'm not advertising for them, by the way. There's many of these services in town, but they will pick up the kind of stuff that's hard to throw away, along if we have a lot of it. So, 1-800-GOT-JUMP, right? You know, we come to the table of communion today. This table right here, beautiful table, isn't it? We come to the table of communion, and we do so for a purpose. Jesus invites us to come here and bring him our junk. That's right. The bad things we've done, the, the times we should have done something good and didn't do it, the anger, the words that we've said that we shouldn't have said, the thoughts that we had that we shouldn't have had, the, the times that we've been afraid when we shouldn't have been afraid, or the times that we've just been apathetic, we didn't want to do anything, or depressed. You know, it's a tough time right, right now, isn't it? It really is for a lot of people. A lot of people have a lot of junk right now inside their hearts, don't they? Well, Jesus said... Bring it to me. Bring it to this table and lift it up to me out of your hearts. And I will take it. I'll take it from you. And so that is why we share communion. One of the reasons. We share it for many reasons. To remember what Jesus did for us in his death upon the cross. To celebrate the fact that he sat at table with his disciples. And invited them. And told them that this, is, this, this bread is my body and this, this cup is my blood. He said that as well. But also because he called us to come and just unburden ourselves to him through the presence of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is always present with us at the table. Isn't that a wonderful thing? We can come today, get the junk out of our hearts and our mind, give it to the Lord, and then receive God's grace and forgiveness and have peace. Because that's what the table does. It gives us peace. Isn't that a wonderful thing? So you got junk? You got junk in here? Bring it to the table today. Pray with me. You can pray after me if you wish. Dear Lord, we thank you for the table and for the love and for the things we can give to you that we might have peace. Amen. 